is Marjorie Wildcraft hanging out with Dr. Patrick Jones, who is a veterinarian, an herbalist, and a naturopath. And uh, I'm really delighted to get to hang out with Patrick because he's um, he's just such a font of wisdom on 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 healing things, you know. And uh, he's so much fun. And I'm I'm here at his uh, at his clinic and his house. And we're actually right here. We're filming in his garden. And uh, what's astonishing is everything that that's growing around us is the medicines that he uses in his clinic yeah. they're pretty amazing so um you know really like when was the last time you went to a doctor that grew his own medicine right? <laughs> and he went out into the yard and came back with a bucket full of weeds right? <laughs> really doc yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i got something for that <laughs> but patrick a lot of people are asking and they're like you know vitamin c is 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 uh, almost this 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 cure-all for a lot of things oh, yeah. and and it really is it's you it know really I've, I've definitely knocked a lot of things out with with vitamin c and especially proactively in the like the holidays and stuff do you have any favorite herbs or favorite plants to grow that are that you feel are, are really good for for boosting people especially in that in that direction yeah so you know probably the most common one the one i use most of all in formulas and is and and something just as a as a veterinarian a little mm -hmm. tidbit for you is that um primates Okay. And guinea pigs are the only mammals that don't make their own vitamin C. Really? So you don't need to give vitamin C to your dog because he's making it himself. That's you good know. to know. Oh, yeah. Or your cat. Or your cat. Your cat's not a primate, uh, although I wonder. You should sometimes. give it to your guinea pig or your orangutan or your son-in-law, you know, because oh. they, they are all, they, they need it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> of course, some of those son-in-laws are orangutans, you know, and that's, yeah, that's, all kinda, different, they that's a different conversation. But that is. <laughs> I've got nine daughters. <laughs> Seems but anyway, to have the voice of experience right here. <laughs> no, they were uh, they all married well. We're good, but uh, yeah. So vitamin C, um, rose hips are a great a great source. Nice, uh, and yeah. they're easy to access. And you know they, they do grow pretty much, but you don't need the seeds. You no, just eat yeah. So the rose hip uh, after the flower, mm -hmm. it makes the little fruit. You know the the base of the flower swells and it makes the fruit, which is the hip. And after the first frost is when you harvest those, and uh, they're red and sort of like a, you know, fruit leathery kind of consistency. Mm -hmm. You slice them open, and they have little seeds in them and little hairs, which is the real problem because the hairs can be irritating. Okay. But if you scrape those out, you can eat them just like fruit leather, mm -hmm. or you can dry them. And and uh, you know, when we do them, we just take the whole rose hip and dry them and and grind them in a. You know, we've got big Vitamix blenders that we do all our grinding in. And then you don't have to worry about seeds or hairs, and that doesn't matter. It all just gets uh, all powdered. mixed up together. Uh, but uh, that's a very good source of vitamin C. Pine needles are a good source of vitamin C. How, how much for like a ro well, like one rose hip, you feel that would be a good dose? Is that the classic, um, you know, we're going to do a teaspoon or something? Well, you know, vitamin C is is not something you can really overdose. I mean, you can take a lot of vitamin C and it's all better. That's, you know? that's true. Uh, yeah. And you know, Linus Pauling did a lot of writing on that, uh, but uh, they should have given him his Nobel prize for the vitamin C stuff and not the physics stuff. Although the physics stuff was great. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, after after that, he did a lot of vitamin C work. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I would take, you know, a couple of rounded spoonfuls of that for to get a lot of vitamin c you mm -hmm. know why why cheat yourself <laughs> uh, but the other cool thing about it is it's available when a lot of other things aren't i mean there's a lot of you know anything a lot of green plants have a lot of vitamin c in them and that's great oh go back to pine needles because there's a needles, there's yeah. a great there's a great story of the homesteader who died of scurvy and they buried him under the pine tree yeah yeah, yeah exactly right? there you yeah, go yeah exactly uh Pine needles are a tremendous source of vitamin Just C. Just chew the raw ones. Yeah, or make a little tea. And you don't want to, you know, vitamin C is not super heat stable, so you don't want to make a hot tea, but, you know, and I don't ever make, I don't ever boil herbs anyway. I, I bring the water to a boil, turn it off, get it off the heat, and then throw the herbs in. You know, that's how I always do it. But, uh, um, you know. I wish I did that. <laughs> I have to confess. I'm like, I'm trying to get it all. I like put it in there, and then I get on the computer and yeah. it's, it's boiling it's frothing over and i'm like oh gosh i wish i hadn't done that you know yeah <laughs> I'm well, gonna, well, maybe when i become a real herbalist yeah, there you go. <laughs> well you the got pun, the shirt you're okay oh, yeah no I got, I got the street team t-shirt yeah I'm, I'm i'm moving there but we, so so just chew on some pine needles yeah or and, make a tea or whatever yeah. powder them and grind them up or whatever but you know if you were in a cabin in the mountains in the winter like the old guy you're talking about mm -hmm. And your teeth start falling out because you got scurvy. You got an enormously uh, potent source of vitamin C. There's more vitamin C in pine needles than there is in citrus. 
you know, pound for pound, it's a good source of vitamin C. And it's available all winter. Yeah. You know, and the rose hips are available all winter. So it's, they're important sources from that standpoint, too. All right. But, you know, herbs in general are, you know, one of the real problems that we have in, in the modern world is, is malnutrition. And our bellies are full, but we're not getting any food, yeah. you know, no we're, nutrients. We're, yeah. And, you know, these big farms and, you know, I got, you know, God bless the farmers. You got to love them. And they're just, they're just doing what we're paying to do them, paying them to do, you know, but, uh, I, I was watching a, a movie about something or other, and at the end of the show, the guy says, well, grow whatever you want, you know? <laughs> if you want cheap high fructose corn syrup, guess what? That's what we're well, gonna that's grow. That's what we're getting for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll right. grow you Brussels sprouts if you pay for them, that's you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, you that's know, true. they're you only putting dollar. Yeah. three minerals on that dirt. Yes. And they're farming that dirt for 100 years, and three minerals go on, and that's it. And uh, you gotta kind of start to wonder if stuff isn't getting depleted, there's no, you know, in nature, if you go out into the woods, everything dies and falls off and goes back into the dirt. And you have that natural compost, that natural recycling of minerals and nutrients, uh, and the herbs are getting that. So sometimes uh, I think that, especially the deep rooted stuff, you know, the comfrey, the burdock, the yellow dock, you know, red clover, those guys, alfalfa, you know, uh, are tremendous sources of micronutrients that are really hard for us to find. And uh, I think that I think it's really important to get that stuff into our diet, you know? Yeah. Well, I can't For, agree you know, with you Forget more. the medicine. Let's I'm, get the minerals, you that's, know? It's kind of what the Grow Network is all about. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I malnutrition know. is the elephant in the room. I mean, people would not think that Americans are more malnourished than, you know, Rwandans or whatever. I don't yeah. know, you know, some some country that's not, that's known for that. But yeah, right. we are. I mean, we we are. We're eating. Yep. We've got full bellies. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're starving to yeah. death with full bellies. Yeah. So, so we got your two favorite sources, pine needles. And um, rose hips, I love it. And I think so. Super yeah. simple. Gosh, I mean, I can yeah. chew on a pine pine needle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks so much, Doc Jones. And uh, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, Dr. Patrick Jones, and we'll catch you on another show.